This feels like the perfect place to daydream all day. Absolutely, it's beautiful, but it sure is dry. You don't feel it on a summer day like today, but in the winter, my hands get dry. I get a zap from the static when I touch the outlet. Sure. Well, it's a common complaint. We hear it all the time. It's probably even worse out here in the high mountains where the air can get even drier. Anytime we hear about that condition, we think about adding a whole house humidifier. Typically, the house has a ducted system. That's how most houses in America are heated and cooled. And so we just put that humidifier on the side of the ductwork, and the fan would move that moist air through the ductwork, out mm -hmm. through the registers, and blend it all in. But you said in your email you had a radiant flow heating system. Exactly. That's going to require a little different solution. Let's go check the mechanical room. you got a nice, big, beautiful mechanical room here. Thank you. All right, let's talk humidity. This is a sanded steam humidifier right mm -hmm. here. If you open up the cover, it has a canister right here that'll be filled about two thirds of the way with water. I brought a little cutaway right here inside the canister. You can see there are two elements that are immersed into the water and when electricity is applied, by conduction, electricity will pass between these two elements and it'll excite the water enough to change its state from water to steam. Now steam will leave out through the top right here. Minerals will drop to the bottom. So out through the top, steam will leave, go mm -hmm. through this hose right here. Now if you had a ducted system, we'd use something like this, a wand that would let steam go into the ductwork and then the fan would push air across it, grabbing that humidity and putting it through the ductwork. Mm -hmm. But you don't. So we need the second component right here, which is this fan box. The hose will send steam right here and steam will come out here. But there's a little fan right here that'll draw air in from the room, across the fan, and then back out here to mix with the steam and deliver it into the space. Now, there are three connections we need to make to the steam generation unit. One is water, which we got right here. The other is a drain, which is perfect right there. And electricity is perfect right close. So, okay. somewhere in here feels like the right location for the unit that's going to generate the steam. Right. The other component we have to think about carefully where we place it is this fan pack. And that has to be in the right location inside the conditioned space. So if we introduce humidity into the space, it'll equalize through the whole building, even without ductwork. Okay. So in general, this is a perfect location right here to introduce humidity. We're right behind the mechanical room here. Great. But if I put this onto the wall here, and this is highly concentrated, I'd worry about too much humidity coming here onto these surfaces and causing mold. So there's a prohibition about where you place it. It's two foot clearance from side to side, five feet up, and a foot and a half down. Guess where the perfect location in your entire house is? It's right where this light is. What do you think of this light? It's not great. We can move it. That's the perfect answer. Yeah, all right. Local HVAC technicians Josh and David will be helping us with the installation today. They start by mounting the unit on the mechanical side of the room. With the light removed and the hole cut to fit the fan box, David can slide the fan box into position and secure it to the wall with some screws. Then, it's time to make all the water connections. David starts at the fan box and attaches the wand to a series of copper pipes that connect to the steam unit. Then, they run some PVC pipes down to the drain on the floor. Finally, they can connect the unit to the water supply and also make their electrical connections to power the unit. All right, so the last piece to connect is a device to control the humidifier itself. It's called a humidistat. Pretty okay. simple to operate. You got up and down arrows to set the relative humidity that you're looking for, and on and off buttons right here. Okay, and what should I be looking for in terms of the humidity? Well, that depends. I mean, I think ideal humidity is somewhere between 30 and 40%, but okay. you gotta be careful as you get into the really coldest days of the winter. If you have too much humidity, you got cold surfaces here, condensation yeah. can form on the windows, okay? But I want you to enjoy this, my friend. Great. Thanks for coming to Park City. My pleasure. Enjoy your little piece of heaven. Thank you. Hmm. Nice job, Richard. Thank you. Nice place to visit. Yeah, I bet. So when I see that, a little bit of work went into it. Sure. I'm thinking to myself, why not a room humidifier or even two of them? 
You certainly could, but this is indeed what its name suggests. It's a room humidifier. So you put it in an individual room. As you use it, water will go down. You have to refill it. Right. The steam's coming out through the top right here. It looks similar to what we'd get out of our wall pack. But if you really have a whole house, this is not the way to do it. You have to have too many of them and have to be maintaining them all the time. Yeah, and it is super dry out yeah. there. So then what's the maintenance on the device you put in? Well, this is the canister that I cut away, uh, cut apart. You know, there's a couple of connections. The two electrical connections here. There's water and drain out the bottom. And this thing, depending on the water quality, if you've got high calcium, high minerals, it could probably clog up in a year maybe, but it could go a little more, maybe every a year, year or two or three, okay? And to replace it, it costs what? It's about 100 bucks, I think, for that, so it's not, not comp really cheap. At least it'll tell you, there's a, there's a call-out light on there right. that'll tell you when this thing has to be replaced. Okay, although 100 bucks potentially a year, plus the operational cost, that's right. not nothing. That's right. There's another alternative, uh, another unit on the market. Uh, uh, it's a little more money on the front end. But what they did is they made this component out of stainless steel. So this canister does not have to be replaced. And yeah, this is nice. an immersion element that you can pretty much keep clean. So this would be a little more on the front, but less maintenance on the back side. Got it. Okay? okay. But either way, if you lived in a place like that with it's dry, dry, dry up in the mountains, you need one of these solutions. Got it. All right. Good information. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.